So today on Project Shop, we're gonna be splitting these uh, big old staters here and attempting to split these rotors. One way or the other, we're gonna get the copper out, but I have a plan of trying to just peck that blade down in there and splitting these in the middle. Uh, whether I can get uh, both of these in one shot or if I gotta put the blade here, come down and then put it here and come down, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Uh, but these should be no problem. We're gonna set the V-block up. I don't think we're gonna have an issue with these at all. Okay, here we go. I got this thing dialed in. Now this time, I put an extra half inch spacer underneath. So we're like four and a half inches up. When I turn this sideways, it's gonna drop this down a couple inches. I think that'll give us the room where we won't need to space these up. We can drop this down and I am gonna pursue building another one here so we can just split the smaller ones like that. This is just kind of uh, a little extra, but this is where we're at with this size. That fits in there nice. See if we're, uh, we're centered. And uh, we're gonna give this a shot. Okay, half inch spacer mod. Let's get it. Okay, I did notice one thing when that was going down. It was slicing through some of these things. Look at that. So it started out and then it was creeping over. Or our blade is on an angle. Did we damage the blade at all? No. I mean, it mowed through that like butter. Let's, um... Huh, that's interesting. This isn't going to be super accurate. And I don't know how... So it actually, it's saying it's this way. Which, which way was that cutting? measure our plates down here oh this is gonna be a hard I don't know how I'm gonna get a reading on this let me just put this in the base see what we got so that is up so that would make sense that it would dig over that way whole thing that far off oh yeah our cable is way off well that's a lot more level now our blade is still way off. What I'm gonna do is take this off and see if swapping that around does anything. That almost looks like it made it worse. definitely made that worse so we're not going to do that it's just using a screw to wedge up in this corner to push it to one side because you know this is a quality redneck engineering over here we still got some parts to make but we're we're um proving the concept we're still, I mean, we're somewhat 
level there. Now we're as close to level as I can get. I wind up putting a second clamp. So we got two clamps squeezing that up. Um, I should check to see if this whole bottom thing is actually level. I mean, this thing is pretty level. I mean, it's within the bubble. It is favoring this side, high side, which we are favoring the high side. So this is probably, you know, parallel with this at this point. I mean, I squeezed that clamp like crazy. Uh, let's give it another shot and see if we eliminated. This time we went through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different things so we were 10 off on our angle there and i did put a big slat there see that's a problem there i don't know we'll see second attempt here we go Huh. That was interesting. Jeez, did we get worse? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're still ten. Huh. I mean that thing was that thing was definitely cutting over. I wonder if I lift it up and let it reset halfway through let's try that like i don't know we might be twisted but it just seems like on the bottom half doing weird things it's starting out good oh I mean that one did really good I guess it really comes down to the placement you know and if this thing is dinged up or this could have not been setting in there right i don't know but on that one it only got off it only got off by like half it, it started cutting this one and who knows why it did that okay Keep on going. I mean, this is definitely, in my opinion, this is way better than cutting them. Let's see. Maybe I just needed to spread those things out a little bit. I wonder if that was the uh, variation. Oh, that one already started. It's folding that one up. Yeah, that's not good. I can see that becoming a problem. We haven't damaged the blade yet. But that thing cut, cut 10 over. Really trashed that one. Look at that. What I'm worried about is that, that tip, man. It's not very thick. This one's all beat up. Try to put the good side down. I think when it, when it starts, we might back it up and let it reset. But I don't know how... What I need to do is put a straight edge across here and then measure this point and that point, see how, but I don't think we're this, I think it's this. 
I don't know. That just seems like a lot. Okay, you see it's like folding. Let's just back it up for a second. Oh, it, it shifted the whole thing over. I don't know, I think once it starts doing that. That is kind of sketchy being that this is a $500 blade. Let's keep splitting. I feel the GoPro getting hot in my hand. I know it's gonna start crying here in a minute. Yeah, this has gotta be uh, something, something's gotta be done with this. I don't know. about the roughest one I wonder if we're starting to lose our edge better lube this thing up we got some of our oil from the uh, staters or the compressors we'll keep that blade lubed up Okay, here we go. There could be so much happening to why that's doing that. I mean, it's kind of cutting right through it, so I can't really complain. All right, now these bigger ones, I think, and I want to try, I think these ones, I don't know if they're going to fit in here. I was thinking, trying these without the plate. I think I might have to. Yeah, I gotta try these without the plate. I don't know if we're gonna get full penetration. But we'll give it a shot. Don't think we got full penetration. Which I might just be able to run it like this. I think it did penetrate the copper. You know what I like about this thing the best? There's no dust. There's no grinding, dust, none of that crap. All right, let's see if we did get that full penetration. 
These things are kind of heavy. is keeping this blade sharp so that when it does do stuff like that it will just slice right through it um i can't really tell uh, it looks like there's some stragglers down there so we'll just rotate it let the blade do its thing oh see now we're all wonky Okay, I have no idea how this one's gonna go. This was the one that was all wonky and bent up. Uh, definitely probably gonna shear through some plates on this one. I wonder if I should let it reset. Still cut it. Man, I'm super impressed. Okay, now for this next deal. Oh, we got one left. All right. Let's do this last one real quick. Hydraulic speed is something we definitely need to work on, right? I really would like to get like a 220 pump, uh, 10,000 PSI, and um, something with a higher gallon per minute. But overall, the fact that I sat here, I didn't have to wear a respirator, I didn't have to gear up, I'm not all itchy from copper dust, we're not wasting copper. I'm super stoked, man. This thing is awesome. Definitely needs a little tweaking, but I mean, it's cutting. So let me get this off. We're going to have to clear this off. I might actually have to lower the machine down uh, for the next thing. We might have to go down a notch, but we might be able to get it with this. what we got. We are uh, stroked out on our current location. Um, now, I don't know if I go down a whole nother six inches, if I'm gonna be able to get high enough. I mean, I probably could. But what I'm gonna do just to make sure is, uh, I'm gonna raise this up with uh, those metal four by fours. That way we know, and then I'll bring it over and we'll take a good look. I mean, I'm almost sure that I can press down in here and not bottom out on that. 
I mean, we don't want to break this blade. I almost want to mark the blade real quick. I think that would be the smart thing to do. Pretty much pretty much from edge to edge. Press to test your shit out on. <laughs> Is we gotta make sure if we're putting that much pressure, we're coming down straight, huh? Woo. We might just have to do one at a time. Trade it down in there all the way.
how far it cut. It literally cut like 95% of that one and like probably 80% of that one. Um, the problem is, it's hard to tell, but this thing is, is on an angle. What was happening is this thing was moving around. I don't have a solid base for this thing to sit on. And um, man, the, when this thing kicks into low gear with the 10,000 PSI cylinder there, the 100 ton, it was putting some pressure, man. And what was happening is when I would release it and bring it up, it was like bending and I was having to fight it, getting it off. Um, I didn't want to crack this blade, okay, and put it side pressure or break the tip. So we're not going to use that to do this job. Um, I, I was pretty impressed with um, how far that got. What I'm going to do is make a smaller custom blade for these. It's either going to be straight or have somewhat of a point uh, to get down in there. But it's going to be something that I make that's not going to be, uh, you know, like $500 if I break it. You know, I can probably just crank it out. Um, and then I tried to come over here and just drive it down in here. And it probably would have cut, but what's happening is there was nothing supporting this and it started tipping and flexing that blade again. So now what I'm going to do is uh, see if I can't just clean this up with the uh, air chisel. Uh, with the puller oh. wonder why we were sounding kind of weak Steve had the uh, wire stripper plugged in. Got a little nugget of wire. A lot of spaghetti. There's a couple little nuggets in there. Definitely worth stripping, but, you know, we'll strip most of this stuff. Steve already got a good little bead on it. Ain't nothing uh, too fancy. And I do have ideas to make it better. And we will make it better. And we will be splitting these. Because I've seen dude do it. And it was kind of effortless. Um, yeah. get this freed up and then uh, we'll put the puller on it and get it get it all the way cleaned up I think I could just grab that from there now um, I really want to be pulling from the other direction there's a big thing in the way over here let's see if we can't shear these down Done with that blade for the night I'll pull that out of there we're gonna lower this thing down uh, and get the V blocks on there we'll get all this pulled and then I'll mess with these things last here we go we're all set up now on this setup well actually I still need to clamp this down uh, but I moved the 
tool balancer to the back here and I might actually rotate well uh, I've, I've moved it back here because I want it to pull into if you look at this it's like it's literally like floating right here uh, before it was right here just kind of pulling up it really didn't do much here I wanted to drag it into it so I'm not like that's way nicer and I can actually crank up on that a little bit and tighten that up and uh, it's going to float a little better and I, I assume if we grab it in the right spot oh yeah that was a little tough I don't think I would have wanted to do that that's some heavy copper there let's see can we get these in two pulls oh yeah <laughs> that's what I'm talking about man got to look where where they're uh, where we should be pulling from four different like racks
Oh, nice. One pull. That's a nice little chunk right there. up and down uh, indicator you can definitely lose a finger with this setup but I think the safest way is to hold it like I just did in the middle Compressors were like bathed in oil. They're coming out relatively easy. Gotta find out. Probably like that. about this whole setup it's not that loud no crazy grinding going on uh, you're not running the air chisel that much I mean I'm gonna have to run the air chisel here in a minute you really don't have to wear ear protection you're not creating a lot of dust getting all the copper I could almost sit down and do this Having this thing raised up works really nice. Gives me so much more clearance. Of 
especially when I got to go sideways like this. I'm talking about one pull. Now, I have to apologize because on all those electric motors, at this point, I wind up getting them all mixed up. And I'm not sure which stator went with which motor. So I'll have to get some more and do a test.
there you have it. It's got a nice little chunk of number two copper in there. Some of these are literally pulled out in one shot. Um, which was really nice. Splitting those in half definitely has an advantage. It made them come out so much easier. Um, you know, and now we're set up to where we won't be crushing them. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to set, uh, hit this with the air chisel. But uh, we're getting dialed in over here, man. This was the easiest I've ever recycled uh, an electric motor. And, um, you know, even see that video back where I was rolling that big stator in here. Uh, that was the easiest. Now, I'll tell you what. That big stator, if I didn't split it in half, I would have had trouble with that. Some of those were actually really tough, and they would have been twice as hard without it. So, uh, what we're going to do now is get this over here. I'm pretty sure I got. Um, oh, that's so prickly. This one should come out. This one should come out. That one should come out. Did I cut them all? Yeah, I cut them all. So two of them are gonna come out in one direction. I'm gonna have to flip it and do it the other direction. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is just clear that off. I should have put a, I, I should have grabbed a barrel. Um, but we got a nice little pile of prepared steel. That's our big, one of the big staters from the other day. As you can tell, the difference now <laughs> that's a little little motor big motor uh, and this stuff is sharp man definitely uh, definitely got to be wearing gloves uh, it had no effect that it sheared these on an angle it just ripped this stuff out. I mean this thing literally pulled that stuff out effortlessly and I will say those AC compressors I guess because them things were bathed in oil their whole life those actually came out really easy. Uh, I was shocked. Um, but when you got a hydraulic ram pulling on it, man, it makes light work of a lot of things. So we're going to get this set up in here. I think all I'm going to do is remove that base. I, I think I'm going to try to keep this here. Um, we'll utilize that lip. And um, yeah, see if we can't get these out. I'll tell you where we're going, right to the scrap yard.
these have such good stuff. They're a little light on the copper. They must be shipping it out. The price went down. This thing's a beast. You gotta kind of get the edge in there. And it walks it right off. 